Hi friends, today we are going to see about partition theorem which we say from number theory and every aspects of mathematics is so important. So we will see what is a partition theorem is. Let me show you from the camera what I have computed. So from here you can see very clearly how a 4 could be partitioned. For example, the number 4 could be partitioned by 3 plus 1 and 2 plus 2 and 2 plus 1 plus 1 and 1 plus 1 plus 1 and 4 plus 0. So it could be partitioned from P, P of 4 could be partitioned as up to 5. P of 5 could be partitioned up to 7 and P of 6 could be partitioned up to 11. That is the whole lot of combination a number could be partitioned. So 4 could be partitioned from 3 plus 1 2 plus 2 and 2 plus 1 plus 1 and 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and 4 plus 0 that this is what the combination of different numbers uh, a number could be sub. So P of 6 is 11. So P of 200 as you see from here you can see it from here that is P of 200 is a very big number that is about units tens hundreds thousands ten thousands lakh ten lakh crore ten crore million ten million and it goes a very big number okay it goes into a very big goes into big number so we will see from here in here you have a general formula for this p of n is equal to 1 by 4 n square root of 3 e power pi square root of 2 n by 3 but this formula is not accurate it has some errors so now what we are going to do is we are going to use i mean this formula what i am showing you it here is is a formula which has some error which could not if you switch over this 200 in here n you can't get this value but it has some error i will show you in the later video that this formula has some error but it is very close to this number when you switch over 200 in this n and you can't get this value but you will get a number close to this number so now what we are going to do is we are going to use a brute force method so what kind of brute force method we are going to use is from here you can see a series i have written in this paper so in this series what you have you can see is a number 1 minus x 1 minus x squared product of 1 minus x cube and up to 1 minus x power n the inverse you can write this as the form like this so when you compute this series what you can get is p of 1 of x plus p of 2 of x plus p of 3 these are all p of 1 that is p of 2 p of 3 and uh, P of 3 is how much time you can partition this number it will be the coefficient that is 3 could be partitioned into this number this will be the coefficient the partition so we are going to get this is not a very easy task as what we can think is it is a very very hard task I think uh, I may guess that people are now till guessing how to get the formula the clear formula like this one okay this is not the clear formula because it has some error so we will use a brute force method of con computing the last p of n okay so let's see how so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the ma the maxima software here Maxima software here and first I'm going to compute the product. So the product is P R O D U C T product of bracket 1 divided by 1 minus X bar k bracket comma k comma 
1 because we can't put 0 we have to put only 1 because anything power uh, 0 is 1 and 1 minus 1 would be 0 and uh, 1 by 0 would be 1 by 0 would be infinity that would be a wrong so what we have to compute is we have to compute it from 1 so from 1 to we have to do it from we have to do it from 1 to 200 1 to 200 and from 200 we have to compute it so from 200 we have to compute it and press enter and you can see it from here that it is computing pretty fast but it is not that much fast so first what I have did is we, I have computed the product I have computed the product and the product shows up here now what I am going to do is I am going to put a Taylor series on this and I am going to compute it x comma 0 comma uh, I say 200 and I am going to put the bracket and what I am going to do is I am going to put the Taylor series on this so T A Y L O R Taylor so you can do it from 0 because Taylor series starts from 0 and I have pressed enter and I have pressed the enter and I am waiting for the answer let's wait for the answer and we will see whether this formula what I showed does work yes yes it's working see you can see 1 0 could be partitioned as 1 and 1 could be partitioned as 1 time and 2 could be partitioned 2 times 3 could be partitioned 3 times and 5 4 could be partitioned 4 4, four could be partitioned uh, 5 times and 5 could be partitioned 7 times and let's see our brute force work for the number 200 I'm scrolling down oh bingo it does work you just rewind it and see this number 3972 for 200 it starts working okay so let's check out this in the camera and see this number working yes for 200 it shows 3972999029388 it's a very big up 200 could be partitioned up to this number so this is what the brute force kind of method we can use for the partition number and i will show you again the number how much you check out this number and see whether this number could be partitioned yes that is for the 200 200 could be partitioned into 3972999029388 let's see how let me go first yes i'm going to quit this and i will show you it in the camera the number Three nine seven two triple nine zero two nine three double eight. Yes, it's working. Okay. Let me see you in the another video.